How do you get unstuck? It's been 62 days since I posted my last video, which is not ideal. I've been super busy at work and everyone in my family has taken turns getting sick, some of us more than once. I haven't had much energy to put into making videos and the times that I have, I haven't felt like any of my ideas were worth producing. So I've been stuck in this loop of work, eat, TV, sleep, work, eat, TV, sleep, over and over again. And you know, I just feel it. You know when you're stuck and you know what you can do to kind of get yourself out of that mode. But um, you can't really muster the energy to do it, to push through. And the funny thing about getting stuck, especially over 40, is you know exactly what's happening as it's happening. And you know that there are things that you could do to probably push past it, but you can't summon the strength to actually do it. So that's where I am right now, sitting on my ideas and not actually doing anything with them. I know that to get out of a creative rut like this, you just have to do something, anything, even if it's dumb, even if it's messy, even if it's not the best thing that you're ever going to make, but a baby step will take you in the right direction. And that's what I'm trying to do right now is to just do something. You know, one of the things I've been worried about, and I know that this is nonsense because I know none of you are thinking this, but I have kind of felt like the longer of a break that I take from uploading videos, the more people are going to be like, well, this next video he uploads better be spectacular to justify all of this time off. And really, like, I know that's not the case because no one is probably even aware of how frequently or infrequently I post anything you just saw this video on your homepage and you clicked on it like nobody's seeing that except for me so i have to release myself from that because it's really a dumb a dumb thing that is just another excuse for not doing what i need to do which is upload more So there's a bunch of things that you can do to sort of jumpstart your creativity when you're feeling like you're in a rut, which I'm trying to do to myself right now. The first thing is to put yourself in a different environment. I feel like I've exhausted all the different places in my house where I can film and I'm kind of getting bored with those and that's been sort of holding me up on um, shooting some of the ideas that I've had because I haven't felt like leaving the house, but cut somebody off because I was focusing on my words and not the road. Awkward, awkward. It's also winter and super cold. I don't want to leave my house ever. So um, I've kind of used that as an excuse to not, to not film stuff. And I've really let that dictate my production schedules. So even just filming myself as I'm driving and talking, I think is, something different you know trying something new that i haven't done before um can you know put you in a different mindset for creativity so there's that which is a lot harder than it looks by the way because i am trying to be a good citizen and pay attention to stop signs and crosswalks but um i'm also trying to think of what i'm going to say and it's 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 harder than it than it looks man the second thing is to give yourself permission to make stuff that isn't great. I feel like perfectionism will often hold me back and, and I'm not going to put something out if it's not the best thing that I've ever made. Like I've said before, the things that I put a ton of time and energy into making look spectacular and, and, and stuff that I feel very good about having produced, uh oh oh shit okay this is super dangerous i think i'm recording myself doing a crime um but my hands are uh, hands free i do have a tripod over there um so as i've said before i feel like the more energy and effort i put into making the vision that i have in my head as a video uh those don't perform as well as the things that are super underproduced um, so I guess that should be a clue to me, like, hey man, just, just make videos, put stuff out there, see what sticks, see what people, uh, seem to respond to and go with that. So that's, 
one of the things that I'm trying to do is just um, going forward into the next year is just make more stuff and let the good stuff rise to the top. Traffic circle. No rules. Okay, everyone's going at once. The third thing is to try to find inspiration in the creative people that you follow. My favorite vlogger is a guy named Mikey Rogers, and he has this trick when filming himself in public, which is pretend that you have a million subscribers. If you had a million subscribers, people would expect you to be, you know, to have a camera out in the middle of Target and filming yourself and talking to the camera, and no one would, you know, think anything of it. And having that mindset will free you to be able to go and do that. So I'm going to try that in a second here. Anything that you're watching, that you're consuming, that um, even if it's outside of your niche of, you know, the types of, you know, content that you create, you can take that as inspiration and apply it to your own content, your own videos. And the fourth thing to keep in mind is to be kind to yourself. You know, you are a grown up, I think and you have got so many responsibilities and you've got a job, you've got a family, you've got all kinds of things that have to get done in your life. And there's not a lot of time for anything else, for extracurriculars. So um, sometimes you just have to accept that you're not going to get anything done today or um, it can wait for another day. I think I give myself too much permission sometimes because it'll go you know, I'll go many moons without creating anything because I'm like, I feel super tired. Um, I'm going to push myself to not give myself so much grace, but I feel like you do need to give yourself grace because, um, you know, there's a lot to juggle. You need to be kind to yourself. All right, I am going to bring this camera inside a target and I am going to film myself walking around and talking to the camera and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so that wasn't the best experience, but at least I tried. And, um, you know, I started off, first of all, over at Target. I walked in and I ran into like three different people that I knew, and I figured uh, a Friday at Target um, during the holiday season isn't probably the best idea. So I decided, well, I need to go to Costco. Maybe Costco during dinner time wouldn't be so packed. That was also incorrect and i ran into another uh, couple that i know and talked to them for a little bit so i figured um i'll try again sometime but i did force myself to try and you know i feel good about that i feel better about that than i previously had so to recap those four things that you can do when you're feeling stuck number one put yourself in a new environment number two Give yourself permission to make something that's not great. Number three, get inspired by other creators that you like. And number four, give yourself some slack. Keep those things in mind, play around, experiment, do something different and that might, you know, spark a new idea and get you really excited about doing something. After I filmed that whole thing of myself driving and I saw the footage and I was like, oh man, the sun is like glaring in my face. You can barely see anything. It's all washed out. I really wanted to drag it all to the trash and start over maybe a different day because I was tired. I didn't want to do it all over again, but I was like, no, you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. I liked what I said. I just didn't like the way that the footage looked. I'm going to live with that and I'm going to just learn for next time. And it's going to be good enough, hopefully it's good enough. If you made it this far and you're watching, then that didn't get you to uh, turn it off and, and watch some other video. So thank you for that. Doing all these things today did end up getting me unstuck because I published this video, right? Um, 
it had to have worked. So I hope it works for you. If you're feeling stuck, let's all try to keep trying new things and make stuff that makes us happy. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.